Well, there is hope that Prime Minister Narendra Modi's China visit will actually yield results in the long term. And it's not just about trade, as the two emerging powers, India and China, are focusing on many points of convergence. That is to expand their relationship and also assume leadership roles on issues that impact people around the world. The informal meeting between Prime Minister Modi and President Xi Jinping has paved the way for a reset in ties. Before the talks, the India-China relationship was under considerable stress, mainly due to the Doklam standoff of 2017. This period of thaw could potentially be the beginning of a new chapter for both countries. They shared similar views on the international situation, the historical positions of China and India, and the development stages and goals. During the conversation, they found themselves highly agreeing with each other from time to time. This once again shows that China and India are natural cooperative partners. Friendship and win-win cooperation is the inevitable choice for both the countries. The meeting between leaders of China and India has opened the doors to possibilities. India and China could expand their cooperation against terrorism. Both countries are hubs of development of technology. They could consider joining hands to take on more established countries in the West. New Delhi and Beijing can also exchange notes on infrastructure development. A dire need for the two developing nations. In looking at the changing attitude of the United States, India and China could also potentially join hands for energy security and climate change. New Delhi and Beijing are already part of the right groupings to enable a discussion on these issues of mutual interest. The ball has been set rolling in some areas. As part of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization or SCO, India continues to raise its voice against terrorism. After the last meeting between foreign ministers, a statement emphasized on the need for the international community to come up with collective approaches to counter the threats posed by terrorism. India will take part in joint military drills with China and other SCO members in Russia later this year. Pakistan will also be a part of these drills. While the informal summit may have opened up possibilities, there is still a degree of skepticism against China. Both sides have given the impression that the talks were successful, but India should not let its guard down just yet. The foundation laid for a better relationship in Wuhan could still be tested. Bureau Report, Vyond.